Hi everybody, hi every spirit, welcome once again to my channel, Esoteric Cloud Surfer here, ready to start another video. This time here, we are ready to see the new changes, the most recent changes, patches, updates, bugs, fixes, whatever that came to Pokemon Unite. Last night we had maintenance, so they brought some new things, we have some nerfs, we have some buffs. We have uh, some cool things, so thank you very much for watching, your support is greatly appreciated. Remember to support the channel, leave a like, subscribe, join my Discord, as also gaming, catch me live on Twitch, as a Terry Cloud Surfer. Check out my beautiful partners pages on Twitch and YouTube by following the links on the description below. A huge shout out to my Pokemon Unite team, Unique Stars, and huge shout out to my soul group and to everybody out there changing the world right now. So, what changes do we have? I don't know. I haven't looked it in yet. I know that Cram was buffed. I know that uh, Greedent was nerfed. I know that Bleacy was buffed as well, or some moves of Bleacy were buffed. So let's see what they say on Pokemon Unite, and then we jump to Pokemon Unite um, database. Database DB Pokemon DB, Pokemon Unite DB. Yeah, to see what they got, what they have for us right now. So first we have bug fixes. I hope they tell us what it is. Tax fixes, shop updates, event updates, battle pass updates. There is a great plus size skin on the battle pass, which is really, really cool. So, changes have been made to, to some Pokemon stats and moves to adjust, to adjust the balance. Details. Greed and Covet changed to has the user run with all its might, dealing damage to opposing Pokemon it hits and throwing them. The user then becomes resistant to hindrances for a short time. While running, the user drops berries. So is this a a text change? Change to oh the user then after the user starts running, or after the user runs, they become uh, resistant to hindrance. While they're running, the user drops berries. If the user eats a drop berry, its movement speed is increased. The more berries the user eats, the more the movement speed increased. Tackle, belt, or bullet shield can also be used. Okay, that was just a text change. Right? So, soft boil, blissy. I, I really don't understand what, what they're changing here on Greedent. Are they just changing the text or they're changing the mechanics? They're not clear. Change to throws an egg, Blissey soft boil, change to throws an egg to an ally Pokemon, restoring HP, a maximum of two users, users can be kept in reserve, he also, also learns, if the user also learns egg bomb, the maximum numbers of, oh, okay, so you need to learn egg bomb in order to have four uh, soft boils, which is makes sense, because egg bomb is, uh, and soft boil are egg related, and the egg bomb changed, so now you have four uh, egg bombs if you go soft boiled and what the major change I saw in Greeted is you get uh, after you after you run you get immobilized or uh, immune to hindrance but we have to see that more specifically and the soft boil also changed to no the egg bomb also just hurls an egg to the designated location the egg then explodes dealing damage a maximum of two uses but if you also learn soft boil which is five, five egg bombs. Nice. Wait, in this case, the move, uh, egg bomb and soft world share the same pool of users kept in reserved. Oh, so it's five for soft world and safeguard. I like that. So they changed soft world to 10. I oh, know the plus. Oh, that's really early. Yeah, it's a support. Okay, okay. It's fine. Dragon Pulse damage, damage dealt to opposing Pokemon decreased, so even no, strong enough to Duralvan, Stealth Rock Effect. I think Duralvan is not even viable anymore, right? He wasn't that great after the nerfs, and now they just nerf it again. Okay. It's good for objectives, but that's it. Alan Ninetales, Alolan line. <laughs> Alan. Alolan. Al Alolan Ninetales, Blizzard duration of effect increased. And uh, area of effect increased and the of Veil move downgrade. Mm. So you learn it sooner or just... Bro, why didn't... Why, this is so stupid. Why, why didn't they say anything? They just say downgrade. 
Okay, but in which way? How do you downgrade the move? Town Flame, Brave Bird. Okay, I agree with that. Dealt to opposing Pokemon decreased. Town Flame is just like it. Prom it promotes toxic uh, players, players that they, they don't know how to play the game, but they take Town Flame. Zero Hour would be like that in the past as well. You just take those characters and they're super easy to use and we get the knockouts which does not make people really learn the game just oh i got a bunch of knockouts on down flame i'm good no okay so uh and uh, the area of effect was also decreased and the unite move the damage dealt to opposing pokemon was decreased and the charge rate decreased as well so they are focusing on the thing of down flame just pushing people away instead of the damage bro look our extreme speed finally it was so broken, it made no sense. It it just was extremely unbalanced. Hoopa, trick, area of effect decreased, cooldown length, range decreased. Okay. Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, because you as Hoopa, you can really send that trick from far away. So now you need to be closer to the battle, putting yourself at risk. I agree. Tricker, trick plus... HP restoration decreased, nice. Shadow Ball version of effects decreased, that means that a window to stun is decreased, and the Phantom Force cooldown reduced, and the effects on opposing Pokemon strengthened because nobody was used Phantom Force. The charge, shield effect strength, because everybody's going with fucking wild charge, you can touch Zero Hour. So hopefully we see more people using this, this charge. Eggy Slash, boosted attack, move upgrade, on the Sacred Sword, so Aegis Slash by default does more damage. Damage dealt to opposing Pokemon increase, the return of effects on opposing Pokemon increase. Okay, I'm gonna use Aegis Slash now. Trevenant, let's go, that's my boy. I really, really like Trevenant when it came out, but it's such a bad character, okay? Especially, I was uh, solo queuing ba back at that time, I was not with the team yet, so it, it was extremely bad on solo queue, right? With team, you can make it work, but Solo queue is really, really bad. Branch poke, damage increased. Infects on Pokemon strength changed to has the user jab in the designated direction, dealing damage to opposing Pokemon and decreasing their movement speed for a short time when it hits. At the same time, the user's HP begins to gradually recover for a short time. I like it. So you have the, the attack and your ability to regenerate HP, plus potion, plus focus band. Okay, I like it. Curse, damage increased. Effects on the user weakened, like it. Pain split, HP restoration increased. Bro, you, you're going pain split is like you were doing nothing, basically. So I, I, I'm glad they changed that. Unite move, charge rate increased. Okay, faster. Because the unite move of Trevenant is more about you mark others. Uh, you mark the opponent's Pokemon and they, and they take more damage from you. So I like that. Cremo, I really like Cremo. Air slash move upgrade. Unite move, charge rate increased, let's go, and damage, so the only thing upgraded, the only thing buffed on Kramer, it was the air slash and the unite, okay, Greninja, charge rate increased, I, I, I agree, I agree, You it was so tough to get three or more unites out of Greninja in one match, and it's really, really useful, bubble, bug fix, for the following, for the following effects, decrease movement speed, Whirlpool, a lot of bugs on a number on a Zumaril. Aquatel changes to increase the speed and area effect of the users. Next three basic attacks. If the basic attack hits from a distance, they also they also deal. Okay, so increases the speed and the area effect of the attacks, not of the Azumarill itself. But the barrier we can score sh score shield cooldown length, and that's what we have. So we have. Greedent Nerf, Lucario Nerf, Ble uh, Talonflame Nerf, Blissey Buff, right? Mm -hmm. Greedent Nerf, Blissey Buff, mm -hmm. Duraldo Nerf, Ninetales Buff. Okay, let's start. From uh, Greedent Nerf, Blissey Buff, right? Duraldo Nerf, uh, uh, Ninetales Buff, Talonflame Nerf, Lucario Nerf. Hooper, nerf balance, zero or buff, that's six, Eggy slash buff seven, Trevenant buff eight, Cremo buff nine, Greninja buff 
10 Azumarill changes. I don't know if it's buff or not, but it's changes. And then they nerf. Okay, it's a lot of changes. I like it. I like it. I like it. So, let's pass to the Pokemon Unite DB over here. And see what they have to tell us. Oh, hold on. There we go. Okay, so the health items change. They say the two best health items in the game just took an axing. But the barrier shields are no longer OP. And score shields are no longer impenetrable. I like it. The meta is changing everyone. Usher in the era of diverse items. Be welcome, be welcome. So the shield passes from maximum 40% to 25 so almost a cut in half, okay? And multiple body barrier shields no longer stack on top of one another. Finally. Score shield, because you, you have a Wiggly, Slowbro, with Unite, and body barrier, impossible to, impossible to kill, super toxic. Score shield, the, the cooldown went from 6 seconds to 20 seconds, no way. The shield is not consumed before any other shields. And the shield amount now increases with level. Okay, I like that. I like that. But isn't that cooldown too much? 6 to 20? God damn. Greed and fast squirrel go fast. Go less fast. Okay. CC is no longer just flat out removed. It just converted to a slow instead. Okay. So you can slow it down. You can stop it, but you can slow it. Imagine the countless possibilities for Blissey of egg-based puns, but uh, 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 soft boil. Both moves now grant two eggs charges each. Upon learning them, th these moves now share a charge reserve. I like that. Okay, so before level twelve, now level ten. I really like the, the changes on Blissey. I think it's going to make the supportive role more diverse. I mean... N no, here they're saying they need a bit of kneecapping. No, 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 no. I think Duraldo now will just be trash. It, it was already bad after the nerf. And now it's just like... Not enough. Because Flash Cannon is good, but... People just run away from it super easy. And it's like the dragon, the dragon pulse was the thing mm -hmm. that Alan is being used for, right? Okay, you can still run dragon pulse and go for adrenaline and zap those, but you weren't getting that much knockouts after the nerf, and they nerfed it again. I don't agree. I don't agree. It's so, it's so much. I don't agree with this Duralvan nerf, and the nerf is around thirty percent. Uh, the estimate uh, that it's makes so no much. sense. That makes no sense. That made sense on the first nerf. Yeah. That makes no sense. Uh, at least for me, I played on the teams right now with against teams of five right now. This makes no sense. Okay, Duralorn has no chance going bottom. Th there is way better choices for jungle and going top, even less, uh, even more, uh, even better options to go top, right? And the Dragon Pulse was not getting th that many knockouts. I don't agree with this. Visual adjustments for Stealth Rock. Okay. Blizzard hits more often, but less hard. Or other veils hit just as often as it always has, but no longer gives you a bajillion HP anymore. Only like a third of a bajillion now. All right. Yeah, really. Oh, it is half. Okay, it cut to half per level. Okay, third. It's you. It's way hard to uh, uh, stack the part of your other veil. And the base just... Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, just... Just a huge, huge nerf to Aurora Veil. Stun duration decreased. Oh, so Blizzard wider now. Okay. Okay, Talon Flame, Brave Bird. Ra oh, this is very important. Radius decrease on a area of uh, area of impact. A area of uh, it's what happens around you. Okay. Because sometimes Talon Flame would not even hit me, but he would get the KO. And that's annoying. Center to center to center range remains the same. Okay. Okay, the ratio didn't change, but per level did. And the base as well. So it's doing less damage by default. 
Flame Sweep. I'm pretty sure that's not the name of the move. Uh, some, uh, I'm just not, not understanding their comment. So, Extreme Speed on Lucario. It didn't change much. It didn't change much. The base drops 10 points. And the ratio drops not even 30 points. Or it, it drops 33 points. Percentage level. I mean, 33% is... Okay, it seems bigger, okay. It seems bigger than... It is bigger than it seems. Hoopa. Shielding range reduced. Auto attack reduced. Cooldown redu uh, length. As well. Now only 25% of the damage health comes back to you. Stun duration reduced. Nice. Stun slow increased. Okay. Okay. Just more stuns. Okay, some uh, minor change on zero order. Okay, this is good. Eggy slash. <laughs> okay, okay. Six percent to seven percent of targets match HP, and that's it. The ratio increases ten percent. The healing... Oh, that's 25%. More healing. And per level and base as well. Okay, more healing. For the egg slash. On, on, on shield form. Okay. Se Sacred Sword. Stun duration increased. I like that. Triangle attack. Dash attack. Good increases, but not crazy. Slow increased for the branch poke. I love that. Okay. It does more damage, but the, the key thing is this. Of the healing, right? Curse. Stronger. Ooh, that final hit got the boost. I like it. Self-damage. Okay. Less 1% per second makes the difference. That is a lot of seconds, right? <laughs> Pain split. Healings, 100% of damage dealt on each stick, 120%, okay. So now you, you, you're healing more than you actually do damage. And the cooldown, 20 seconds less. Oh, that's cool. 20 seconds less on the cooldown is very, very good. Cremo. Yeah, the, the Unite. I really, I was, I've was i been using lately because Cremorite is, Cremorant is really, really good on bottom. And the Unite was not like before. It's not that crazy thing anymore. But they pump it again. So, F slash fires an additional 5th blade. Okay. And the uh, cooldown. Okay, lower cooldown. More ratio. It decreases a bit per level. But it's the base damage is way strong. Hmm? Damage per level, right? Or like yes. Per no, no, that's the how you, how you accumulate the damage as you level up. Oh, okay. So I agree with what he says here. It's not the worst, but it was like super long cooldown. It made no sense. Okay, and they reduced thirty seconds on it. So, oh, it was what the cram cram's cooldown was before. Bro, that's too much. 164 seconds for a 10 minute game. It's too much. Those two changes together mean Aquatel does more damage when the target is below. About okay, and less when they are above. This is a rough estimate and the exact amount. Okay, so bug fixes. All right, related to dealing damage to enemies, related to the movement speed. So okay, I like that. 
So you, you, you can do this better, I suppose. And the basic attack has the long range. It's got, it got stronger. I like it. So th they boost the Azumarill basics. Mm, I like it. I like it. I really, really like it. Because it's so hard to get close to your opponent that when you do, it really needs to pay off and you really need to do that damage, right? Okay, guys, so th this is it. It's not b a lot. It's really balancing. It's not nerfing. It's not boost. It's not uh, uh, buffing anything. I think it's way more about balance. It, the really, really buff we got, it was Blissey. And it's Blissey, which is a supporter, so... I think it's not going to be broken. I don't agree with the nerf of the Dragon Pulse. I do not agree. Greninja just Unite should have been here way earlier. The reduction of that cooldown, it was fucking long. And Lucario nerf should be way sooner as well. And what what needs nerf or a little tweak, tweak, tweak is the stun. The, the stun, there is too much stuns right now going bottom line. Hoopa, Pikachu, Wiggly. Hoopa, Pikachu, Ninetales. Hoopa, Pikachu, Mamoswine. Hoopa, Ninetales, Mamoswine. Pikachu, Ninetales, Mamoswine. So the game is getting too much about stuns than about the actual battle, go score the points, move around, do this maneuver. Okay, so the game is getting a bit toxic in my... But the thing is then... After those first minutes on bottom, is not that relevant. But those first min minutes on bottom, it's really, really annoying. Very positive. Score shield and buddy barrier. They will help indirectly on this stun situation. Because Wiggly, Slowbro, Hoopa, those guys on Zapdos fight, if they unite and they have buddy barrier, and uh, the imagine they have a Slowbro as well, and he also has buddy barrier, it will be crazy, okay? And then Wiggly unites, giving her shield, uh, okay? So those Pokemon, that they are not strong, they are not broken. They're just very annoying because you can't kill them and they can't stun you. So now it's more balanced. Yes, they can still stun you, but now they, they need to risk more because they can just unite and survive. Mm -hmm. That buddy barrier shield can be burned super easier. But yeah, I think they need to do something here. Reduce the stuns or something or... Make the Pokemon that use stuns more fragile because it's getting too much about the stuns, you know? Too much. Too much. Okay? But that's my only complaint about the game right now. I don't complain about anything else. And I hope you guys enjoy playing Pokemon Unite. I hope you guys stay here connected until the next time. Check me live on Twitch. Join the Discord and check my beautiful partner by following the links on the description below. Till the next time. Saturday Cloud Surfer, surfing out. See you soon.